Hey everybody, it's Jennifer and today I would like to talk to you about the top 20 beauty products that I purchased in 2020 and tell you what my absolute top 10 favorite were. <laughs> All right, so I just want to do two quick honorable mentions for skincare since I'm not getting into skincare. And I actually, instead of being specific, I'm just going to talk about the brands. Um, so two brands that really surprised me were Versed and Acure. They're drugstore brands because one's at Target, one's at Ulta. Um, every single product that I tried from those two brands just absolutely blew me away. So if I weren't someone that constantly tested skincare, I'd be really tempted to commit to those. Um, even over some higher level brands, which I do use and I love just because the affordability and like I say, everything that I've purchased. I haven't tried a serum from either one of those brands. And for me, serum is something that I'm willing to splurge on. Cleanser, moisturizer, uh, vitamin C powder I've tried from Versed. Um, I also haven't tried an eye cream, so that would be something that I would probably splurge a bit higher end as well. But those products, like, have really blown me away, so I just wanted to throw that in there. All right, so let's start with my number 10 product on the list. That is going to be ILNP Nail Polish. I purchased five this year. I'm not a huge nail polish gal, but I do like nail polish occasionally. And, I mean, what can I say? ILNP really surprised me. So the hollow and the hollow products is just amazing. The colors and the dual chromes are amazing, or the shifting chromes. Um, so I got five here. Let me kind of show you my my in order. So this is the purple plasma. This would be last place on the list. It was not good. Um, it, it was not up to par with the rest of these. I just want to say that it did not stay on. So I use the same base that I do for all of these. The color is beautiful. That'll give you an idea right there of the shift. Um, I got this to wear in October, kind of Halloweeny. I love the color. It's gorgeous, but I had a real problem trying to get this to stay on my nails. So that was the one that was a little bit of a letdown. The rest of these, the formula was unreal. All right, this one is Alexander and I am wearing this today. It is a gray um, with some subtle hollow, but it is a subtle, um, subtle hollow and I really like it. The gray is really pretty. It's just a nice wintry gray. Again, this is called Alexander. Um, so I really like this one a lot. I'll go with this one. This is Caroline and this was an intense hollow. Um, just gorgeous. I, I swatched a lot of these on my Instagram. This was beautiful. It's like a rose gold, really intense hollow in there. It's beautiful in the sunlight. It's absolutely impressive. This one is the only shifting chrome that I have from them and it's called Abundance. And I got this wear for Halloween or Halloween. I got this wear for like Thanksgiving. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. It shifts between this red to this green. You're not gonna be able to see it here in the light, but I am seeing the green to this gold. Like it is just everything. It looks so red on camera. You can kind of see the green there when I turn, but I'm telling you, this shifts red, green, gold. It is super amazing. And finally, I guess the one that was my absolute favorite is Aria. Oh my gosh, it is this gorgeous, it's a, I, honestly close to the color of my shirt, but it's this beautiful, just super hollow blue. Uh, I loved it. I got so many compliments on this. So ILMP Polish, my first year for trying them, love them. All right, my number nine product was a Charlotte Tilbury. This was, I purchased in a Charlotte Tilbury mystery box, but I kind of, Felt like I knew what it was because everybody was talking about it. But this is their Pillow Talk Superstar Lips. I love it. I hate to even use it because I don't want it to go away. So I, ha I don't even use it that much because I'm like, I need to hold on to this forever. It's so moisturizing. It it's barely got any payoff in color. I mean, it really does. It's very, very, very natural looking. So this gives you an idea of the color. It's very subtle, but I just love it. Like you can kind of see as soon as you put it to skin or lips, it gets wet and it gets moisturizing. And also the packaging in this, I live for this packaging. I don't know, like it just feels so pretty. It's so dainty and I just love it. Like, like I say, I, I don't even use it because I don't want to run out of it. So that was number nine. Number eight, this is the Zodiac Aquarius palette by BH Cosmetics. I had been looking for a blue palette for a while. I heard a blue that had some neutrals and just wasn't like insane blue. And this was the one and it was gorgeous. These blues are gorgeous. These shimmers are gorgeous. Honestly, BH Cosmetics has really brought it this year. I feel like so many people were talking about the Naughty palette, which I did not purchase. But I mean, this is just one swipe. Like that matte and that blue, oh, so pretty. Um, and it's exactly what I wanted. I wanted that blue palette. And it's also got this really pretty um, intense highlight shade in the center. I just, I love it. This palette performs beautifully. The mattes are great, shimmers are great, love this.
Number seven, I bought the Pat McGrath. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and say several of these things I did buy Black Friday, um, but I've used them so much since I bought them that I feel confident saying they're my favorites. So this is a Pat McGrath Lenny mini lip balms in the lip fetish balms. I've already run out of the clear. It's gone. So I have repurchased this since then um, because it's just so good. It is just so good. So I've got this beautiful darker red color um, in Flesh 3. I know they had full size for $12 on sale recently, but they didn't have any of these colors. And I was like, I like all of these colors so much that it'd be worth it to me just go ahead and, and use, get the minis again and use them because the mini trio was 13 bucks. Um, this one, guys, oh my gosh, I have worn the heck out of it and it's all misshapen. That is the problem. These are so soft and they melt. They When they get on your skin, they melt. I have them on right now. I have this one on right now with a little bit of topper to change the color a little bit, but it's so soft. It stays on forever. I've worn it in walks and like extreme cold and wind and these lip balms are amazing. Um, so yeah, I would have liked to have ordered some full size, but they didn't have colors that I wanted. I did like the clear, but I didn't want to buy a full size clear with just no fancy. I know it's ridiculous, but those lip balms were bomb. They were bomb and I would repurchase those in a second. In fact, I did. All right, number six place, the Tiny Marbles palette uh, between Mel Thompson and Sydney Grace. Guys, this is a great palette. Everybody was talking about Sydney Grace, Sydney Grace, Sydney Grace this year. And I was like, mm, I have so many palettes. Like, do I need the Sydney Grace palette? But I did. I did. I needed it in my life. I'm wearing it today. Take these glasses off. Um, but I'm wearing it today. I've got the Fire Butts, which I love. And I got the Scarab on the outer corner. And then I've got, what is this, Walking Stick in the, um, in the, crease. I can't even speak. Um, so this row down here are pretty much utilized. I love this palette. The mattes are phenomenal. I don't know that I've ever worked with mattes like these. They're so good. Um, and the shimmers are really, really, really intense and they tend to stay still on me. So I didn't have any color story like this. I didn't have anything like this green or this purple. Um, I didn't have anything like this scarab color. It's so pretty. Let me swatch that for you real quick. I mean, it's just, that's, I barely touched it. It's just so pretty. Like, it's got this shift to it, this red green. I don't know what's happening there, but it's beautiful. I love this palette. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I wish I could do my eyeshadow like 5,000 times a day because I have so many good palettes this year that I'm bouncing back and forth. I do plan on getting the Sydney Grace Enduring Love palette. Maybe the Christmas and July sale that I hear they have, but I plan on getting it just because I fall in love with this formula. I love this palette. Oh, so good. All right, so you may think, well, you're clearly in love with that palette. How can you beat it? Well, number five is another palette that every time I use this palette, I'm like, I'm so glad I have this. And it was limited edition. It was tough to get. And I worked my butt off and my husband's, both of us trying to purchase. And I'm just so grateful to have it. And it's a pure Raw Beauty Christie. Guys, it's so good. It's so good. And I really hope that they could come out and make this a standard. So the neutral side is great. The mattes are great. They're beautiful. I love this pink color, which is Moo Point. I love that. I love, I, I'm a neutral gal, but I'm a cool tone gal. If you guys know me, warm tones are not where it's at for me, but these are great. I use them and I love them, love them, love them. And if those neutrals are not beautiful enough, all you gotta do is flip it. And then you get this beautiful color side. I mean, the idea here, the principle was just so good. I have nothing like this pink in my collection. I had nothing like this blue in my collection. Honestly, this purple and this green, I really had nothing like them either. Um, let me just swatch a couple of these for you. Cause they're just, I mean, I'm barely touching these shadows guys. Like, it's not like I'm digging in. I'm literally barely touching them. I mean, wow. Wow. And I mean, you may be looking at that and think, well, that looks a little bit patchy. And it does. And it's because these are pressed pigments and it's because the color is so intense. You really do. You can't just smear on. You have to blend. So it's not really patchy that you're seeing. It's just that they need to be blended. They're so much. They're very soft. And Christy even said these are very soft. What that means is you get heck of color payoff and you do. I love this palette. Um, I love these colors. I love everything about this palette. It was an incredible purchase and I'm so glad that I have it. So definitely in my top five, number five coming at you. All right, number four is going to be my last eyeshadow palette that I share, and it is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Carla Bible palette. 
I know that Smoky Glow put this in her worst products of the year. I don't know. It, eyeshadow palettes and color stories and everything is just so personal. But this is where it's at for me. I've loved this palette. First of all, it's got the ABH formula, which I've never used before. So I don't have anything to compare it to. So everybody that's like, oh, you haven't used the Jackie Anna palette. Obviously, no, I haven't. So maybe the formula is so much better that I would notice just a tremendous difference. But it's the color story, which is the reason why this is number four for me. I mean, the formula is good. I do not have to struggle with these mattes or shimmers at all. Shimmers move a little bit, um, you know, depending on how well I've primed and stuff. These mattes are phenomenal, but it's the cool toned colors. It's this row that I live for. I mean, I do like that there is some warmer toned colors in here, but oh my gosh, let me just swatch for you a couple of my faves. But for me, that is, that's the reason. Like, I just absolutely just adore this color story. Guys, oh, I just love it. Let me build that one up. That one is really light. It's called Mandala, and it's really shifty in the color between like this purple and pink, and it's beautiful. It really, you can kind of see that shift there. Um, it's gorgeous. These are gorgeous colors. I love these colors. Honestly, I have reached for this palette. If I have to do a neutral look, I'm reaching for this palette. Um, I have done so many things with this. I love these colors. I love this Bible color. Like, I use that. That is a gorgeous crease color on me. Um, I just love it. I love this palette. I love it. I love it. I love it. I, love it, I, love it. I can't say it enough. I love it. So, that's my number four spot. Best palette that I purchased in 2020. And there was some tough competition, but I loved it. All right, so my, we're, in my top, we're in my top three products now, so let me jump right in. Number three is going to be these Wet n' Wild brushes that I purchased at the Dollar Tree. The Dollar Tree. They were a buck each, and I use them every single day. It's ridiculous how much I use these. Is stuff coming off of them? Probably, because I just used them this morning. I haven't washed them once yet, and they may totally fall apart when I wash them, and I realize that, and I'm hoping not, because I use these every day. I love the grip. Love it. So comfortable. I love this crease brush. It just, it's perfect size for me. I love this little packer brush. I use this to pack color onto my outer corner. And I love this blending brush. I use this to blend out that color. Um, I, I love these brushes. They were a dollar and they perform so beautifully. So if you got a Dollar Tree and you see these, I don't know guys, like these were it for me. Top three products because I use them every day. So even though they're not very exciting, I use them every day. That's how good they are. Number two, another brush purchase that I use every day. This is the Real Techniques Face Brush. Uh, is it called that? Real Techniques Expert Face, br face, little face Brush in 200. Um, I use this every day. I use this every single day. And when I first got it, I was like, that's too small to be a good foundation brush. It's way too small. Because I have other foundation brushes that I love. But it's perfect for buffing. I mean, it's perfect. I have been using so much tinted moisturizer right now. I'm wearing the NARS Radiant uh, tinted moisturizer. That's pretty much all I've been wearing this whole pandemic. Different tinted moisturizer, CC cream, stuff like that. This is amazing. I also use this for stick foundation, my Bare Minerals Hydrate Rescue. It buffs beautifully. I use this every single day. I have other brushes that I use sometimes, face brushes that I might reach for, but I use this every single day. And my number one top beauty product of 2020, I know you see the little spoiler down there. I don't know what to say about this other than it's amazing, and it's the Milani Precision Brow. It was the Taylor uh, that first talked about this that I saw. I started buying it. I just couldn't stop. I purchased this, I don't know, like four or five times. I love this brow pencil. I am so picky about my brow pencils. This is so good. It's not slippery. It's it's It gives you some grip, as you can see, but it also stays. So this is the medium brown, which is actually more cool toned, I think, than the dark brown, which is why I got it. And just move anywhere, so it, it is grippier. Isn't that scarab beautiful from Tiny Marvels? It keeps catching my eye. Um, but yeah, this brow pencil, I use it every single day. I love it. This is going to be my holy grail brow pencil, and I'm scared to death they're gonna get rid of it, because that's what happens every time I find a product that I can't live without. So there you go, guys. There was my top 10 2020 beauty products that I purchased with my own money. Let me know if you've tried any of these, what you think. Let me know what products were your best amazing products so I can try them in 2021. And I hope everybody has a very happy new year and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.